someone's going away on a trip. Take a step back in time when American railroads were the giants of our developing country. The conductor checking his pocket watch and shouting out those famous words, all aboard, while passengers scramble to get on board before the train departs the station. It's the spirit of the rails that has been recaptured by the Berkshire Scenic Railway in Lenox, Massachusetts. Named by the Boston Globe as one of the top 10 ways to ride the rails in New England, the Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum is an all-volunteer nonprofit organization founded in 1984. My name is Peter Lips. I'm one of the volunteer locomotive engineers and I'm also the manager for, of marketing for the museum. The, the museum is all is staffed completely by volunteers, which is an amazing time commitment on the part of the people who are involved. And we've had uh, small plane pilots, private pilots, tell us that it takes more hours in a locomotive cab to become qualified than it does to uh, solo in a small plane. It's great fun, and uh, you know, I'm here because it's such fun for the kids uh, to watch little kids uh, who love trains. It's great fun to watch their excitement with the train. It's great fun. Trains start here at Lenox Station, and uh, the train goes south to Lee, about five miles, and then continues another five miles to Stockbridge Station. This is uh, this locomotive was built in the mid 1950s. The cars are from the 20s. They're older. They were built between 1920 and 1925. Experience a side of the Berkshires that you won't see from your car. The 90-minute, 20-mile round-trip excursion between the picturesque towns of Lenox and Stockbridge is an entertaining and educational experience for the entire family. During your excursion in our restored 1920s passenger cars, hauled by vintage diesel electric locomotives, you'll learn about the region's rich industrial origins and discover the natural scenic beauty found along the Housatonic River. Today, our visit to Stockbridge Station features the annual fire apparatus show. We're able to get off the train and stroll through the grounds of Stockbridge Station among classic fire equipment. Owned and restored by the Fitzpatrick family, owners of the Red Lion Inn, Stockbridge Station was designed by architect Frank Walker. Built in 1893, it last served as an operating railroad station in 1960. I've been on the train four times. I got to um, sit with an open window and I got to wave my hands out the window. The museum is um, a collection of artifacts uh, related to railroading in the Berkshires uh, and trolleys in the Berkshires as well as uh, what have become come to be known as the Berkshire Cottages, which were the houses built by wealthy New Yorkers, mostly New Yorkers, who came up and spent time in the Berkshires. And uh, we have uh, uh, approximately 100 artifacts, uh, some photographs made from glass plate negatives that were in the Lenox Library, and we arranged a, uh, the creation of an exhibit and uh, had title cards, explanatory cards written in made prints from these glass plate negatives that had been not seen probably for 50 years or more. Block stations were critical to the safe and efficient movement of trains in the era before modern signaling systems and radio communications. The building is fitted with historic railroad fixtures and represents a functional 1950s era structure that could have been found on the New Haven Railroad. Thanks to your support, the Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum can continue its mission to preserve the history of railroading in the Berkshire Hills for years to come. Trains are fun for everyone. Bring the kids and the grandparents and enjoy a great day in the Berkshires for the entire family.